1915 Franco-British naval attack on the Gallipoli Peninsula was to become one of Istanbul's fiercest battles in World War I and is now heralded as the Ottoman Empire's greatest victory during the conflict. Then known as Constantinople, the city and its surroundings were littered with various kinds of weaponry. People would sell what they found to junk dealers to make a small amount of money. But local man Salim Mutlu attempted to salvage the artifacts and began to display them in his house. He turned it into a museum, which his children now run. My father was the village grocer. The villagers who found war materials in the field, like swords, bayonets and guns, brought them to Salim Mutlu and exchanged them in return for eggs, cheese, flour, milk, cigarettes, tea, biscuits and Turkish delight. He wanted to prevent these goods from going into the hands of junk dealers, so he turned his house into a museum. The exhibition in Salim Mutlu's little white house serves as a reminder of the bloody battles that took place during that period. But there are also indications of the compassion that continued to exist between opposing forces in spite of the war. The thing that most affected me is the exchange of water between the Anzacs and the Turks. I'm impressed that signs of humanity remained despite the gunfire, said this man. Turning yellow with age, letters, newspaper clippings and photographs can also be seen. The museum attracts visitors from around Turkey, but also people from the UK, Australia and New Zealand. Our correspondents sent this report. The diligence of a grocer from a tiny village saved a huge amount of war memorabilia from disappearing into the hands of junk dealers. Today, the Salim Mutlu Private Museum serves and presents war materials to thousands of people each year. Bora Bayraktar, Euronews, Çanakkale.